Teachers undeniably have a trust relationship and a statutory duty in the Education Act to full professionalism. Professionals do not breach confidentiality. It may have been a bad idea for the department to remove the clear direction for teachers not to out a student without their consent, because clear guidelines establishing professional confidentiality are a good way to protect the trust relationship with parents. By removing the clear guideline, but still informally saying that they don't want children outed, the department has actually taken away the honest answer. Now a teacher has no written prohibition on disclosing a student's personal confidences, so they can only obfuscate or violate the child's confidence. Teachers, of course, should not actively deceive parents, but true non-interference means both refusing to help the child deceive the parent and refusing to become a state agent to disclose the child's confidences to the parents. I cannot answer that may be unsatisfying to hear, but it has the benefit of being honest, and honesty between parents and teachers is a good thing. Therefore, it is my finding that the changes in Policy 1715 are inconsistent with privacy law. They may also be inconsistent with Child Section 15 right to educational accommodation. The Jeffrey Moore decision saw the Supreme Court of Canada clearly say that children have a right to educational accommodations that allow them to fully participate in educational services in the school community. Those who have actually got lived experience say that, if anything, conversations with teachers and trusted adults is a gateway to talking to parents, and that many children don't tell their parents first because parents are most important. As one said, with many kids, it's not about a safety concern with coming out, but changing the relationship with their parents and how their parents perceive them. It's a hard thing for kids to get ready for. My kid says it's easier to come out to people you don't care about, like at school. You're not invested in their response. Said another trans student, it's good to be, I feel safe trying the things out at school. Even if home was safe, I wasn't ready yet for that conversation. The feedback from families with lived experience is that children do not delay the conversation out of a desire to exclude or delete parents. Trusting other adults is a step towards coming out to their parents. The chronology of coming out was not because parents were unimportant. Children explored and talked to others because their parents are important. 